we had a power outage today. And it went out at 11 p.m. at night. And we have had a message that it would be back up within a few hours. And so I'm like, okay, we can let the battery backups do the work, you know, and so on and so forth. Well, woke up this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. Still no power. And they stated that the power is not estimated to be back up until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm actually amazed at how one of the Ecotech battery backups, before I went to bed when the power went out, it was on full. I know that it runs it at like minimum speed. I believe it's 10% that I have it running, but it's creating enough even ripples here. The fish look as healthy as they can be. I'm definitely very, very happy with this battery backup. Now, let me bring you to, to this tank. So in this tank, so here first, in case you're wondering, we have, I have mollies that I'm going to be putting three independent of the three mega matrix mollies that are fresh water that are coming from the mangrove tank into salt water. So I'm converting them to salt water and I'm, it's a very slow drip as you can see. So what I'm doing here is slow drip, drip acclimating them. And my goal is to slow drip them for uh, to at least 24 hours which will be later on this afternoon and uh, if they're still good I'm gonna measure the salinity in there and if they're still active as they look right now then I'm gonna move them to the tanks last night thinking that it was gonna be up in a few hours all I did was two of these one on each like by the brace right here and one right there to provide aeration in there and then uh, this poor guy looks like he got beat up again I moved them in here with the fox face. That's another part of the update, but we'll do an update on the whole tank at a different video. I'm going to have to catch them and move them back to the peninsula because someone here is not leaving them alone. So anyways, this tank had two of these. I had one on the anemone tank. This one I didn't put any in because it's only two fish. And then here I didn't put any in because I've actually accidentally left the pump off for over 24 hours not a full 48 but of over 24 hours and when i've come to realize it i come here and the fish are all still active and everything so it's small fish and you know taking up the oxygen very very slowly and since i only had two fish in here i figured they would be fine for those f first few hours so woke up this morning to still no power hooked up the generator let me show you that so you just have an idea of what i do that's the generator And there's two cords. I didn't bother connecting this one because it, this one still has over 50%. So by 4 o'clock, I'm hoping it's, it's on. If for whatever reason, by 4 o'clock, it doesn't come on, I'm going to trade it off and connect this yellow line over here to power this one back up. I just wanted to show how beneficial a generator can be because you never know. You know, you never know, and, and this is the things that I'm talking about, like you have to be prepared, right? Who knew there was gonna be a power outage? And I actually have other battery backups. I have the ice cap one, which I know a lot of people talk mess about. I bought it, I haven't actually tested to see how long it works for, but I'm gonna do that, tell you how long it works for. And in this case, I would be testing it for two max spec gyrus to see how long it will last on. But unfortunately, I did not have them connected. They were not charged up, so it's not part of it. But hey, lesson learned, I do have a generator. So that's, that's where that comes in. I uh, have, you know, multiple backups just in case. I have the aerators as well, as you can see, creating a lot of bubbles. Sorry, this is a very, you know, shaky video, but I wanted to take this opportunity to really show what's going on in true fashion and hope that people out there that don't have a generator or don't have backup options, because I see it on the Facebook groups all the time. They wait till the, oh, I see who's the one bothering them. Wait till the catastrophe happens and then decide I'm going to get a generator. And let me tell you, it's better being safe than sorry. It's better being prepared than having to uh, wait for the first death of your full, full tank because you could not aerate it or let me tell you from experience. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. 
I've tested the salinity in here at 28. I want to get it to 34, which is what this tank is at, so that I can then transfer them over. I'm assuming it will be probably by uh, early this evening. Um, we are still with a power outage. I went to the store to get more extension cords because this MP40 is about to run out of battery. You can see it's on its first one. So it is, it's ran for 15 hours. 15 hours is what I've been able to get out of this Ecotec battery backup. Um, but now that, you know, that I was able to get an extension cord to hook up the Apex system to this, I am going to hook up the MP40s to the power supply that's hooked up to the generator. You know what else generators are good for? We have hooked up the fridge. So the fridge is now hooked up. And happy wife, happy life. I connected the entertainment system here and the Wi-Fi. So now we're able to at least watch some football until the electricity comes back up. This is what the tanks are looking like. The fish are still looking great. I ended up moving this guy from the last video to now because the Dusumeri tank took a beating on him again. And so, yeah, no, he did not look happy at all over there. He was in a corner. So I decided to move him over here. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will uh, catch you on the next clip. So we are back it is 6 30 the power came back up at 5 30 so an hour ago so we were almost 19 hours without power as you can see everything still looks good though so 19 hours without power everything looks good uh we'll see i mean sometimes things take a while for them to start deteriorating based off whatever changes you've done I am doing a water change and only because I was scheduled to do one now and I won't have time to do it later. The great thing about it is though that because the power went out, that means the mixing station the heaters also were not working and the temperature is identical. Let me adjust the white balance, see if I can get this to look less blue. All right, so here we are. We are at the peninsula. I adjusted the auto white balance. But just wanted to report 19 hours later, power came back up. Every other tank is doing well. Well, I appreciate you uh, sticking it out this long to make sure that my tanks are doing great. They are. I truly appreciate everybody that has continued to be a part of this channel. I think this will be the last clip. Uh, I don't think there's any other updates. I'm going to finish here with the uh, mollies for one that are still adjusting to the salt water. We had it at 30 earlier. From the last update that I gave y'all, they're still doing great. I think that by tonight, they should be at the 34 that I'm looking for. We'll be putting three here, three in the peninsula. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you so much. I will catch you on the next one.